We start our African journey on the incomparable and luxurious Robos Rail. Leaving their gracious station in Pretoria, South Africa, we travel to the mighty Victoria Falls, which is one of the seven natural wonders of the world. After several days of relaxing in Victoria Falls, experiencing the cultural delights of the Boma, we connect with our plane to Botswana, the ultimate safari, and experience the bounties of this southern African land of plenty. Botswana, a land of enchantment and diverse beauty. In the heart of southern Africa, its natural splendor lies in its wilderness, wildlife, and cultural diversity. Botswana is where the hot Kalahari Desert meets the wild Okavango Delta in a profusion of green that shelters and feeds some of the continent's most prolific wildlife. Its clear waters and myriad small islands are home to an astounding variety of birds, plants, and smaller species of animals. Hidden in the searing sands is one of the world's richest source of diamonds. The Okavango Delta of Botswana, the verdant floodplains known as Africa's Garden of Eden, is a labyrinth of lagoons, lakes, and hidden channels covering an area of 17,000 square kilometers. It is the largest inland delta in the world. Moving in a quiet Makoro, you experience the mysterious, gentle, and beautiful winding channels through lagoons, islands, and islets of various sizes, open grasslands and flooded plains, and a mosaic of land and water. A succession of palms and towering trees abound, throwing their shade over crystal pools, forest glades, and grassy knolls. The Okavango's water is remarkably clean and pure. Trapped in the parched Kalahari sands, it is a magnet for the wildlife who depend on the permanent waters of this unique feature. Each year, flood water from Angola flows into the Okavango Delta from its source in the moist African highlands over a thousand kilometers away. These floodwaters flow from their catchment southwards and into the Kalahari Desert to create a unique wetland that supports and sustains a huge diversity of wildlife. It is one of the few remaining destinations in Africa that provide a superior sense of the safari adventure. Sparsely inhabited by humans, its expansive game parks and preserves are largely undeveloped and untamed. Botswana is one of the richest wildlife regions in all of Africa. Botswana lies immediately to the north and south of South Africa. It is bordered on the north and west by Namibia, on the north and east by Zimbabwe, and is connected by a narrow strip of land on the northern border to Zambia, called the Caprivi Strip. Very few of the Okavango camps can be reached by road, and visitors will be flying by light aircraft to the camps of their choice. Fishing, bird watching, game viewing, photography, or simple relaxation. Indulging in any of these in the Okavango are experiences without parallel, and the safari camps specialize in these pursuits. In the lush indigenous forests of this delta and its islands, and along the floodplains spawned by this great marriage of water and sand, more than 400 species of birds flourish. Most of the area is divided into large concessions run by various safari groups. Development is strictly regulated so that there is little development and lots of wildlife. It is an expensive destination, but rare and worth the stay in the permanent tented camps. The guides are knowledgeable and the accommodations luxurious and comfortable. The furthermost remote reaches of the Okavango Delta lies Duba Plains, an unobtrusive camp surrounded by expansive seasonally flooded plains. The area is famed for lion prides and buffalo herds and was the setting for Relentless Enemies, an award-winning National Geographic documentary. Duba Plains is known for the colossal clashes between buffalo and lion and how each species has adapted to their unusual way of life. A game drive tracks down the massive buffalo herd to see if any lion are also headed in that direction. Lion and buffalo dealings is the order of the day here. We watched with bated breath as a herd of some 700 strong buffalo headed towards the water where the lionesses were hiding. The scenes were fascinating, especially as a straggling, weak, limping buffalo comes following up the rear. We are sure the lions are going to go for him. Then with 
the rush of motion he is saved by the last sentries running from behind. Bound to this locale, with nowhere else to go, the lions and buffalo in this region have responded to each other with assault strategies, defense tactics and physical traits not seen anywhere else. These cats have adapted to untraditional hunting tactics. They swim through deep water, hunt in the daylight and have developed specific hunting strategies. Their continuous struggle with a powerful buffalo has resulted in a bigger and stronger community of lions with amazing team hunting skills. Buffaloes are massive, heavily built, cattle-like animals. The buffalo is a gregarious animal occurring in herds that may number up to several thousands. Smaller groups may break away from the main concentration only to rejoin it later. Bachelor groups may form away from the main herd and solitary bulls are quite commonly encountered. Adult bulls with a mixed herd maintain a dominance hierarchy, a complexity determined by the size of the herd. The cows also establish a pecking order amongst themselves. The buffalo has a wide habitat but requires areas with abundant grass, water and cover. The buffalo is widely distributed in the northern parts of Botswana throughout the Okavango. In my opinion, sable is a majestic animal. It is a beautiful antelope. They are resilient and tough and defend themselves effectively with long, rigid horns against lions and hyenas. And a wound from one of their razor-sharp horns is often fatal. Herds are often led by a dominant cow. Their diet consists almost completely of grass, but they will occasionally feed on leaves. They are reliant on water. Botswana's best safari camp to view sable is at Bumbura camp, where they are frequently seen. When wounded or hurt, a sable will often back up into a bush, go down on its knees and lower its head and use those magnificent horns as a defensive weapon and woe that animal or person that approaches it. The giraffe is the tallest animal in the world. Giraffe are browsers. Their long neck and leg give them access to food supply beyond the reach of all other browsers. Although they feed from a fairly wide range of trees and bushes, they are selective in what they eat. So imagine our surprise when we came across these giraffe grazing, another unusual behavior found in the Okavango. They spend between 15 and 20 hours of each day feeding. Wild dogs, a highly endangered carnivore, move quickly and cover vast amounts of territory. Experts believe that fewer than 5,000 African wild dogs, also known as a painted hunting dog, currently exist in the world. The population of northern Botswana is the largest remaining unprotected African wild dog population on the continent and is one of the best destinations to see these highly efficient carnivores. The African wild dog is one of Africa's most efficient hunters and will easily pull down a zebra wildebeest or other antelope larger than themselves. Their success is largely due to the fact that they do everything in packs. Each pack typically includes an alpha male and female with their offspring and relatives. The alpha male and female are usually the ones in the pack to produce the young, with the rest of the pack acting as caregivers. You count yourself lucky to have a good sighting of these painted wolves. 